Hey. This will be a nation contest of both of the clips, Connor. Hey, what's up, uh, chat? Pedro360 here, and I'm here with SSR Neko. Howdy, everyone. And we're here at this mm, weird alleyway. And apparently, according to Josie, there's supposed to be a quote-unquote secret club. Uh, uh, I think that's what he said. Go to the end of the alleyway. Find secret club. <laughs> well, anyways. I can't wait to party, Pedro. Let's go. Neko, this will be amazing content for both of our Twitch channels. I know, right? This party is going to be super amazing. So, okay, chat. I guess we should head over to that door then. I guess we knock. Password. Verit is Joe. Is that you? You know him, Pedro? YouTube. Oh. Yeah, YouTube doesn't really pay that much, so I have to work at random jobs to make ends meet. Eh, that makes sense. Anyways, y'all two need a password to enter. This secret club Josh told y'all about. Uh, how, how did you know Josie told us about- Anyways, what's the password? Uh... Step aside, Pedro. I got this. Yeah, what she said. Uh, okay. Welcome to the Secret Club, the most fun club you can pop experience somewhere else, but the fact that the secret makes it cool, so yeah. Whoa! How does anyone have an intelligible conversation in that abysmal atmosphere? Trying to ask someone how their day is going and the music's just womp 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 womp. You know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like going into a Discord chat and the music bots at like full volume and you can't leave, but you also can't mute it either. You see, I, you see, I have to make that analogy. I had to make that analogy because I know half y'all niggas don't go outside. I I know y'all don't know what sunlight is. I know you stay strapped to your home like a fucking garden snail. You should be thanking me. You should be thanking me for helping you understand how good of a joke I just made was. Also, it's the club. I'm no hater of mainstream music. Wow, bro, did you just play some Drake? Did you just play some Drake, you mainstream titty sucker? You, you, you probably file your taxes too, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm not that far gone yet. But 9 out of 10 songs they play at the club, I am not vibing with, bro. I, I am not vibing with. And the, and the other 1 out of 10 times they play something I'm sort of chill with, the DJs will add their cringy ass, uh, you know, DJ mix to it and just bastardize the entire song. Hey, why don't you ask them to play something you like? Hey, that's a good idea. Uh, let me smash. Uh, let me try it real quick. Hey, bro, can you play um? Can you can you play Shattered Dreams by Earl Sweatshirt? What? Hold up. Oh, what nah, that nigga just bro, say? Did he just bugging, say bro, Earl bugging, bro. Sweatshirt? Bro, if you don't <laughs> shut your depressed, you no hoes have an ass bro. up. You can, can you play you Shattered Dreams by Earl Sweatshirt? Just Dressed for that, that, we should shatter you. <laughs> um, sir. Why don't you try making friends at the club? Yeah, I, I would try to make friends. You know, I, I would try to make friends if the music wasn't so goddamn loud. Remember? Remember when I said that? Remember when I said the music was at an ear rupturing level? It might be weird of me, but I don't want my first interaction of meeting a potential friend to be, uh, you know, me shouting at the top of my lungs because I can't hear half the conversation we're having. Even if I did make friends at the club, there's nothing to do in this city. There's this city called Lynchburg. This city's run by some preppy ass Christian college. A good portion of all the establishments in the city are churches. The fuck am I gonna say, huh? The, the fuck am I gonna say? Hey bro, let's get out of here, man. Let's get out of the club and head over to Bible study. Yeah, high five for Jesus. Jesus pals, activate. <laughs>
people in this city are so weird they're so weird in fact i think like the majority of all of my close friends though i've met them in real life we first met on discord a lot of the times we play league of legends together league of legends is, is gonna be kind of hard to find people that share that same hobby you know I, I can already tell everyone in this club doesn't play league you know why huh you know why because they're outside they're outside of their house they know what grass is go outside and find two niggas that play league impossible impossible challenge other than that the whole mood of the club is so cringe we got women there seeking validation we got guys there seeking validation i don't feel safe around all these people i want to go home okay i want to go home bro one good thing about the club one good thing about the club though is that seeing all the people i wasn't so friendly in high school with seeing them looking at their physical and emotional appearance and realizing that they peaked in high school like i i never prey on someone's downfall regardless of how much bad they do to me you know i always wish for the best for people i never pray for that but seeing it you know seeing it seeing an old enemy's downfall just seeing it man is that great karma's a bitch huh uh But yeah, uh, the club sucks, overhyped dog shit garbage, hanging out with like three to four close friends at a restaurant or just at your own house, you know, like a kickback is, is it's probably 10 times more enjoyable. If you go to the club, you're a sheep, yada, yada. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it.